One of the things that drives me crazy is when people hum. Like if you're in a bus or in a car and someone's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, it's like, Gah! it drives me crazy. Another thing that drives me crazy is people who do presentations on how to do presentations who aren't good at presentations. I don't know if that's what this is gonna be, but let's find out because I'm going to be reviewing The Secret Structure of Great Talks by Nancy Duarte. And Nancy, if you're watching this video, I hope I said your name okay. Great to be here. I, you have the power to change the world. I'm not saying that to be cliche. You really have the power to change the world. But it is cliche. And whenever someone starts a presentation like that, it's just like, ugh, cheese, cheese, cheese. You can change the world with the power of your ideas. If it's any good, maybe, but like, let's bring it back to reality. The good thing is, at this point, I have no idea what she's going to be, how she's gonna transition into her topic. I do know it's the secret structure of a great talk. So here's what everyone's thinking. Oh, if I structure my talks well, I can change the world. That's kind of the message that I think she's gonna go with. Let's find out. Deep inside of you, every single one of you has the most powerful device known to man. And that's an idea. An idea. So a single idea. Like you, when you know exactly when where you're going right away, what you're doing is you're sort of digging a hole that you're going to have to bring yourself out of. Because we hear that kind of stuff constantly. And it's the trap that so many speakers fall into when they try and become motivational speakers. I am almost positive that everything she's going to do for the rest of this video is going to be things like really only applying if you're going to give like a motivational speech or a keynote speech. It's not going to apply to things like presenting this year's financial statements, doing a regional analysis on a sales territory. I don't know, but we'll find out. From the human mind, it can start a groundswell. It could be a flashpoint for a movement and it can actually rewrite our future. But so an idea is powerless. So at this point, what's happening is it's just like, mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm, yep. What, you're doing this too. You're waiting for the actual presentation to start. You're kind of like, just kind of half engaged here, waiting for actual content. So that's already been almost a minute and we're kind of like disengaged the audience. But an idea is powerless unless you can communicate it well. If it stays inside of you, if you never pull that idea out for others to contend with, it will die with you. Now, maybe some of you... I think I called it. I think I called it, right? When I said, when, if you can't communicate it well, different word. Mine was a simpler way. She's still trying to be this motivational speaker. And you can notice that her voice changed because she's trying to force it. You guys have tried to convey your idea and it wasn't adopted. It was rejected. And some other mediocre or average idea was adopted. And the only difference between those two is in the way it was communicated. This is so true. I like what she's saying here, but it's all this kind of general stuff. So everyone's like, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah. But imagine if she would have done a specific here. Imagine if she would have, before she said this, you could have started off with, has anyone here ever owned a, a Blu-ray player? Remember Blu-ray discs? Some of you may remember that when Blu-ray first came out, it was actually competing with HD DVDs. And the thing was, HD DVD had a very good quality and Blu-ray had a very good quality. The thing is one communicated their quality better than the other because Blu-ray, first of all, was way easier to say, way easier to remember than HD DVD, which just sounded like the previous thing, DVDs. And the second thing was that they just managed to communicate their superiority better than HD DVD. It's so hard to say. They used to have all these commercials where they would just have Blu-ray and HD DVD, and it would just be the Blu-ray looking way, way more awesome and then swiping out the HD DVD. And that ability to communicate is what made them successful. How many of you have had a great idea that's been thrown away and then someone with not as good of idea gets it? Why? 
So that's what I would have done here, given a specific example and then this kind of general stuff wh where people can resonate. Because if you communicate an idea in a way that resonates, change will happen and you can change the world. Again, the general change the world generality doesn't affect anything. But then you can say, then you can be, what if you were the next Blu-ray? The next thing that everyone knew, the next thing that everyone used, the next idea everybody wanted to learn more about. You could see if you go specific, you can use it as a weapon. Okay, so I've already been talking for like 10 minutes and we're barely a minute into this speech and I'm gonna have to work on being more concise myself. But you see how much we can do with just the first few minutes? This is why I'm starting this video series because I don't wanna just tear other people apart. I wanna show you what you can do better. So I'll see you on the next video.